Hello everybody, welcome welcome back to the channel. Today, I'm going to be teaching you three beach ideas that you can use in Bloxburg. Let's get right into it. All right guys, so the first beach idea that you can have is a boating dock. So the first thing I'm going to do here is I'm going to resize all of this cube. I'm going to resize it up to here, and I'm going to make the bottom of this cube whatever I want it to be. And I'll make it like this for now. I'm going to place a semi-transparent cube on top, and then I'm going to place one transparent cube on top of that. And then now I'm going to clone this around the bottom of my basement. Now that I have water here, I'm going to make a cube that's one by one. I'm going to transform it up a little bit and then I'm going to copy it all the way over and then transform all of these up. Now that I've done that, I'm going to use the bevel cube and I'm going to resize this. Now that I've done that, I'm going to place as many of these as I want. And now I'm going to extend one out here just like this. And then one out here just like this. This will be where your actual boats come in and dock at. And so now I need to place some more of these. And then now you can place ordinary rope to connect these like a fence. I like to leave gaps open right here so that way I can have my boat like whenever it parks in just so people can walk off. And then now I want to paint everything that I just made. Now that I have painted all of that, I'm going to use a standard square beam and I'm going to make a little border. This will be placed along every single side. Now that I have that, I'm going to make sure I paint everything. Once you add in some decoration, you have your very own dock. Now you can make some custom boats or add in some snowmobiles and act like jet skis if you want, just for decoration, but that's up to you. On to the next design. For our next design, we're gonna place a cube down here and then we're gonna resize it up so it matches the level of our water. Then we're going to place a horizontal wedge on it, we're gonna rotate it around, and then we are going to resize it. Once you have a size that works for you, we're gonna paint it the sand texture and the khaki color. Khaki color, whatever it is. <laughs> Then you're going to place them like this and you're going to resize them so that way they connect to the wall because apparently mine doesn't. And now you have a little bit of a shoreline so now we're going to use a basic shape. We're going to place it right in the middle here. Resize it out. Transform it up. And then you're going to copy it across. Now what you're going to do is you're going to extend your beach out as far as you want it to go. And then you can go to decorate and with the new items you can place a palm tree over here in the corner. And then some of the tropical leaves and I'm going to place one more palm tree I'm going to resize it down make it a little bit fatter and I'm going to change the color of the leaves there we go that looks pretty nice now we're going to add in some uh, sun chairs and some towels you can color these to however you want them for now I'm just going to leave them like this I'm going to add in some seashells here near the shore because that's kind of cool I like that a little uh, addition and now what we're going to do is we're going to place a basic shape resize it all the way down and we're going to do a life preserver ring and then what we're going to do is we're going to transform it all the way out to the water flip it like this and then bring it into the water like that then you're going to add in a post right here make it however big you want it to be and then you're going to use the ordinary rope and you're going to connect it to the life preserver then you're going to recolor the edges here to this so they match this right here. And then boom, that looks pretty cool, doesn't it? You can add in some wagons and some other stuff here. Uh, even like in the appliance section, there's a little beach basket right here for a picnic. There you go. That looks pretty cool. I'm just, you can really experiment with anything here. Maybe add in some flip flops or something. But people are just getting their shoes off and all that to go swim in the water. And then if you want to add in some details to your shoreline here, we can just place a bunch of dirt piles. You're going to repaint these to slate, and then you're going to go to a very bright blue color. So if you have the color wheel, just uh, make it brighter like this. Make a few of these be institutional white, they're as bright as you can. And then you're going to come back here. And you're going to make these ones match the color of the water. So, then these ones are going to be slightly uh, brighter than the water, but they're all going to be different colors. I like those colors right there. So then if you want to add in more diversity, you can put something over here like this. Maybe even go like that and that. And then boom, it looks like you got some waves crashing into the shoreline. I think it looks pretty cool. If you want, you can add in a lifeguard tower over here on the side. I would like to paint it maybe something a little bit brighter, but not too much so it doesn't blend up with the sand like that. Alright, now that we're done with the second beach idea, let's get on to the third one. 
All right, guys, so now what we're going to do is we're going to make a beach for landscaping. So first, I'm going to make my mountain right here. So that way I know what I need to extend my landscape to. And then I'm going to go into my basement. I'm going to go to roof and I'm going to go to mansard roof. And I'm just going to start connecting it to the wall like this and extending things out. Resizing these as much as I can to make these look very different. And then now that we have our cliff side, I'm going to paint these things all different colors. Once you painted your cliff side, add in some bushes around uh, to cover up the gaps right here. I like to do a design like this where I'm just going up the side of this mansard roof. And the reason why I had you guys do this is so you can do this design yourselves. It's really useful and underrated and I don't think I see many people use it nowadays. And I wish more people did because it does look pretty cool for builds. Now paint these all different colors and make sure you kind of have like almost like a pattern if that makes sense. Something like that looks good. You can do the same thing with these kind of bushes, just make sure to resize them because they're a little bit bigger. And then just like the last one, you can color these around, make sure they look different so that way it adds more depth. You can add in some of the tropical leaves plants around. And then now what I want you to get is the large rock. And we're going to resize this all the way down. Make your own kind of design with the rocks and then make them different colors. I like to use these three colors right here. The oyster, hurricane gray, and medium stone gray. You can add in some other plants like, like cacti. Repaint these to earth green because they don't look too good in the other green in my opinion. Add in some natural plants as well. Make these earth green as well so they kind of match the cacti and get that darker color uh, more involved. Next I like to use blossoming bush. They are really cool or they're really good for builds like this and I'll just paint these the same colors as these and I'll just do the flowers uh, the same. Once you've added in enough landscaping, you're pretty much done. Just add in some larger plants here towards the bottom to kind of cover up the mountain. I like to resize this bush out a little bit and I also like to add in some of the very large boulders like this. I like to add these in the corner where there's a lot of wall so it adds in more depth. Alright guys that's pretty much it for this video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy. If you did please leave a like and subscribe and let me know what I should do next but with that I hope to see you guys in my next video. Goodbye everybody.